All right, so I figured I'd have some interest with uh, doing these 4K texture mods to uh, PS2 games on the PC, on the emulator PCSX2. So what we're going to do is uh, get on into it. I'm going to turn my display on here. So I'm going to put all the links down below. So basically, first thing you're going to do, go to PCSX2. I'll put the link, but if you don't, Google it. Go down, downloads right here. Ignore my face. You need the nightly release. You need nightly. You don't, it doesn't work with the normal emulator. You need nightly. So, latest nightly, if you're Windows, do that. If you're Linux, or your Mac, whatever, click on that. You're going to download it, install it, put it in a folder. Good to go. It's that simple. Okay. Now, I will put these links down as well. So, this link is going to take you here. And if you scroll down to right here, not his PayPal, I and mean, if you want to donate, go for it. I mean, dudes put some work into this. You're going to click on this Mediafire link. Here's a link to my PS2 textures folder, and it has all these games. Now, I'm doing this with Tokyo Stream Racer 3. You can do this with any of these games listed here, or if you find a texture mod somewhere else, go for it. You click on that, download it, okay? So when you go to get the hd pack and it brings up all the games click on the link find the game you want to use in this case we're going to do tokyo extreme racer 3 click on that download as easy as that we don't need that your download is starting i'm not going to re-download that because it's going to take forever next link for the widescreen patch it's going to take you here it's a forum it should load you here if it loads you up top just scroll down is going to be all this stuff here it kind of showcases how they use you know what happens with it go all the way down and attach files at the bottom right here ps2 widescreen RAR. grab that download it good to go so then what you're going to want to do load up nightly okay if you haven't loaded your games it usually searches your computer for them what you're going to want to do is go to your settings. Uh, actually, before we do that, go to your downloads, okay? Unzip the widescreen patch. It'll make that folder. Mine disappeared. Put it on my desktop. That was just for um the nightly mod i put all of that in a folder because this is obviously the program for the emulator just put all that in a folder i still have it in my downloads here what's going to be in there is this file all the all the hd textures it's a ton okay so what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your nightly folder okay that you downloaded everything in it you're going to go to textures okay and then you're going to open that tokyo extreme Racer 3 download and you're just going to drag and drop that right into the textures folder bloop done we have it right here so all of our stuff is right there and if you don't have a textures folder inside of your pcsxx2 just create a folder new folder name it textures done easy okay and as far as the widescreen fix goes, all right, the widescreen patch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open cheats. If you don't have cheats, make the folder. Open cheats, go to the PS2 widescreen download you have, uh, depending on, you know, what, what ROM you have downloaded. Uh, mine's American, so NTSC U. Have that, find the game. All right here, Tokyo Stream Racer 3, okay? Open that. You'll see this PNAT file, drag and drop that into cheats. And that's that. So then what you're gonna do is open nightly. You're gonna go to your settings, go to graphics. Um, I don't think I changed anything here. Go, I guess go to emulation first. Enable multi-threaded VU1, enable cheats, uh, and enable instant VU1. Um, basically just mock everything I have here go to graphics use direct 3d 11 I'm using my 2070 super now you do have to have a good amount of uh, RAM 
and a fairly good graphics card to do this because uh, it's pulling a lot of resource. Um, full screen mode, do borderless full screen, widescreen, off, automatic, bilinear, smooth. Um, I don't think I changed anything else. Enable widescreen patches, check that. Anti blur, screen offsets. That's it for that. Go to rendering. Six times native, 2160p 4K, automatic, bilinear PS2, automatic, 16 times, unscaled, basic, full hash cycle for texture preloading. And when you go to texture replacement, it should default to your folder, that textures folder inside your nightly build for the, the emulator, the one you know we just dropped all those files into. Make sure if it's not set to that, browse, go find the folder and select the textures. You're gonna do load textures, async texture loading, and pre-cache textures. Make sure those three are checked. Post-processing, click FXAA. Do shade boost, turn the brightness up to 60. I don't think I did anything else. No, that's it for that. And there's also another way to do it. If you go down to the game you're doing, you can right click on it and hit properties. It'll pull up the same stuff you can do, you know, you can do it for global or if you want to do it for just this game, you can do all the same settings, okay? Widescreen patch, enable, anti-blur, rendering, it's all, it's all the same stuff, okay? It's all the same stuff. So if that's what you wanna do, you can do that. You can pick your memory cards if you haven't already. And that is it. All you have to do is load the game and you are good to go. Now, like I said, that'll work with uh, any game. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll load it up. It'll say one game patches and one cheat patches are active if you did it properly at the top left there when the game loads. And if done properly, you can double click on it. It'll go full screen. Um, you'll notice all the textures are crazy. Everything's good to go. Um, you should notice a significant difference. It'll be all on the widescreen, all that stuff. So anyway, boys, that's it. You know the drill, subscribe, come back. See you on the next one.